How's it going? And welcome back to the series about rails. Yeah, I know it's been a little bit of time. And that's just a whole bunch of reasons. One of them being that I started, I got hooked on another game. And of course, we've been playing that for a little while. Then I thought, oh, actually, I could do something similar, but a little bit different to that. <laughs> Flying pigs. Uh... And of course, in the last episode, we worked on the flying pigs that are going behind us. But in this episode, I thought it's actually time we have some resource generation. Because we, we've got some trains, but we actually don't have any resources yet. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're here in an extreme hills biome. There's a little few little things around here. But hopefully what I want to do will fit into this area here, which is... Just nicely tucked in here. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of options in this pack for making a quarry, so I thought we'd use a robot. Now, if you remember back in the old days of Bullcraft, where you'd have a big quarry and it'd be a big hole in the ground, I'm thinking something like that, but not quite a big hole in the ground. I want it to be a bit more aesthetic. I want it to look a bit more like real life, and that you have an area for vehicles to go up and down into the quarry. So the first thing that we'll work on though, is we work on uh, the the robot. So we'll go down here, and I've already set up the electronic assembler. And you can see here we've got a computer tier 3. We need that for some of the tier 3 stuff we're putting in here, plus it gives us a lot more room to put other stuff in here. Uh, we'll ha we'll Gonna have a trunk loader, just so we can walk away. Uh, we're gonna have an inventory controller, so we can control what's actually what happens and where our stuff is, and we're gonna equip tools as we need them. Got a couple of inventory upgrades, a generator upgrade, so we can cook any coal or um, resources that we find that we need. Keyboard hover upgrade. Now this is a tier one hover upgrade, which means that we can fly. 64 blocks above the ground. I'm gonna put this in here so if we come across a ravine, we're not gonna have problems. And I've also got down here a navigation upgrade, which we will need to create ourselves a map. Uh, not that one. Empty map. Empty map. We'll exit out of here. We'll just click on this a couple of times. And now, hopefully, we've got a nice little area. Uh, it looks about right. And we will. Grab ourselves our crafting table. Crafting. Crafting. Crafting table. So we could put that into there. And this guy will make a little bit more sense in a second as well. Uh, we'll go into here. We'll place a navigation upgrade there with one of our maps we just created. And stick that on there. And of course, we can then place this into here. We will compile this guy. Let me get rid of that. And we get BB-8. Uh, so we'll go over here. And I'm thinking I'm going to put them about, about there. Back there. Uh, and we'll then probably mine from here and maybe that way. Uh, but of course we will need to install them. So we'll turn them on. Oh, might have to put a disc in the drive. Turn it on. Wait for it to boot up. Of course, we will install. So we put the OS onto the hard drive like normal. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to run up the programming to do my quarry idea, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so, I think that's close to all I want. You can see uh, that it started digging down here, and we've, it's a small quarry at the moment. Of course, it's going to be bigger, but I think the code's working. Um, what I've got it doing is it goes around this way, turns, goes this way, turns again, goes around here, and it just keeps going around. Um, when it gets to the middle, which is where, of course, it is now, it goes down two. And it will then spiral back out from there. 
and it'll just prove me wrong there. Uh, it'll spiral up from there and go around and end up back in the middle. And it goes down again. Uh, so I think that's pretty close to it. And it's actually doing what it's meant to, which is even better. Uh, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to do a few more tests on it and get it so it makes the ramp down. Uh, so I will be back in a moment once I've got that sorted. So, uh, if I've done this correctly, the robot should come along and now finish this little bit off and then uh, start digging into here. You can see though, um, oh, I, well, why did I get wool? Okay, um, you can see here though that there is uh, two gaps here, or two brocks, uh, and that should continue all the way around. It'll then go down four blocks Go in another two, down another four blocks, and so on. So let's just make sure my code is working the way I want it to. It should turn here. Goes in about three. Looks like that worked. Yeah. So it's gone and go down. Forward, it will be down again. Yep, cool. So you can see it's now putting in the stairs. It's not quite a ramp. Uh, because it just, we don't really have the support for ramps in Minecraft. Uh, to the level I'd like at least. But you can see that the, uh, it's making a little area. It'll then, once it's, it'll then trim this whole thing off. And then it will continue back around and fill out this next level. Uh, which will then make it four deep. So currently of course it's too deep. Uh, so one of the things, of course, that I have going to have to do currently is I've got to empty it. And I've also got a problem with pickaxes. Uh, so what I was thinking I might do, and of course this is the part that gets cool. Actually, let's go over to here and just join our navigation upgrade with our map. So this is the map, same map we created earlier. Let's put that into there, stick that into here. So as you can see here, I've already prepared a drone in here. Unfortunately, it looks like I can't do any drones that you normally build because there's just not enough slots for everything you need. But I'm going to put a navigation upgrade in here. Uh, so what we've got, of course, is a crazy drone. As I said, I don't like the idea, but that's what we have to use. Uh, we've got a inventory controller upgrade so that we can control where things are in our inventory. Much like in our robot. We've got a navigation upgrade so we know where we are. Uh, an inventory upgrade, so we've got somewhere to store stuff. Uh, and a solar generator, so that we could keep it powered. And of course we've got the normal wireless network card, the good CPU, but a memory, and the EEPROM. Which I've already preloaded with the uh, BIOS that we used in the previous episode, where we could remote debug. Uh, so what I'm going to do is assemble this guy, and we get an OMA. We'll take that out of here, stick it over here. Hopefully. Over there. Apparently it's there, it's just not showing up. That's a bit weird. But okay. <laughs> um, can we turn it on? Uh, so it gets boss, and of course over here, because I've already, as you can see, I've already pre-flashed it, we're ready to go. We can go edit, test, and we will go drone dot move one, one, one. Much like in the previous episode, just test that out. Net, flash, test. And our invisible drone will fly upwards. Yeah. Maybe I need to reconnect. Give me a second. Yep, it had placed multiple drones, so we have to get rid of this guy. I don't think there's a way... Oh, oh. I don't know you could do that. Apparently, sneak and right click will turn it on. Uh, we need a screen show to pick them up, so we'll grab this guy. Do that. And of course, we can then just throw that out. Uh, and I'm storing these guys here just because I might need them in the future. Uh, but this guy is now sitting there, and you can see he moved. Let's just test to make sure that works now we can actually see it. This one's scared. Should go up. Yes, perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let. Uh, our robot here continue on, uh, but I'm going to set up some uh, more code, 
and see if I can get the drone to interact with the robot to be able to unload its inventory and to also replace the pick when needed. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so uh, we should be good to go. It's taken a bit more longer than I thought to do this than I really wanted. Uh, but as you can see, we've got a drone in. Uh, we've also added some waypoints in, so I've got a waypoint here for the tools, and of course that is for our uh, diamond pickaxe. Uh, because of course as the robot drops its pick, we need to be able to replace it. We've also got one here for fuel, uh, which of course is just full of charcoal, so that if we do run out of charcoal or some form of fuel, we can still refuel the guy. Uh, and of course we've got another one over here which is connected to a, a storage drawers controller for storage which is where the drone will uh, drop its stuff off when it's ready and we've got a waypoint here for the charger uh, which I know it's, it's called charger I was gonna plug it into a charger but the actual generator we've got on the drone here is actually doing a pretty good job at keeping the drone fully powered so don't have to worry too much about that, although we could, in theory, put a charger there and then we could use a normal drone and not have to worry about the, the solar generator. Uh, but of course it would require running power to here somewhere. Um, so in theory, of course, we'll be able to pick up our pickaxe when we run out. We'll be able to pick up some charcoal when we run out of fuel if we need it. Uh, we've got a little place to, store, uh, to, to hold off. And of course we've got our storage over there. So we get down here though, you can see what I was meaning by the idea of having a quarry that looks more like a real life quarry. Because of course what would happen is the vehicles would come in, they would head down here. Uh, normally of course there wouldn't be a hole here but that's because the land's like that. We'll just jump over there. Uh, where the vehicle would keep going around and then it would get back around here and then it would be able to go down and be able to get the next level and so on. Uh, I have got some code in here which will actually make these a bit more aligned but of course I'm only testing with this very small area at the room. Uh, but what I thought we'd do is let's test this, um, let's test the drone out. Uh, let's just put some, some random stuff in here. Now what that should actually do is when the, the robot gets to about there, uh, the drone should detect it, change colour, Hopefully it's changed colour, it has. And here it comes now, it's getting ready to pick it up. Now it will just hover above here uh, until the drone, the actual robot requires it. Uh, which shouldn't be too far away, let's just make it really obvious that we need to pick it up. We'll stop there, and now of course it will go, oh, I'm full. Uh, there you go, so I'm full, and of course it will say, hey drone, come pick up stuff from me. And of course here comes the drone, it will take out at the all the items that are currently sitting in there. You will notice that I've had to move that the diamond pickaxe actually gets de moved into the last slot. That's because for some reason, when you try and take items out of the robot with the drone, it sucks to pick out first. So I thought, okay, well let's just move the pick into the last slot and put a piece of cobble there or something. So that's actually a really good way of it avoiding that situation. As you can see, the drone will go in, take the stuff, unload, come back, and all that. What I've done is I've set it up so it's on the final size now. So let's go here. Uh, and one of the other things I've done is I wanted to test to see if the pickaxe will be replaced. You can see here that the durability on this pick that I've added in uh, is 1, which means the moment it actually uses it, it should break. So we'll send this on away. The drone should detect that the pick is actually just a bit gone, and it looks like it already has, which is great. And uh, it'll be sitting in the middle of the quarry, which will be over here. There it is. Uh, and of course, it's currently pink, and it's got a pick ready to go. And what'll happen is it'll come over here, and the moment this guy's pick runs out, which should be in a moment, there it is. Of course, I don't think is that going to work. I might have to, I'm just thinking, I might have to put some, because of course you can break dirt with your hand. Uh, so I'll do that. Because I've only got it so that if it detects that it can't break something, then it will call the drone in. Uh, but we should see it happen in a moment. It's a little bit slow, of course, because it, it is technically breaking with a hand. 
We'll just sit here, and we should be able to tell. There you go, so you can hear it, it it's gone. And here comes the drone with the new pick. Now one of the things I've found... Take it. Okay. One of the things I found is with the drones and I don't know what happened there. It's just gone invisible. Everything's going invisible. Mate. One of the things I found though is that robots and drones can't actually interact with each other. So you can suck things out of the robot, but you can't place things in. So what I have to actually do is it's dropping it on top of the robot, and the robot then sucks it in as if it's picking up an item in front of it. Bit of a hacky way of doing it, but it. It gets the job done, and of course then this guy's going to go off and he's going to mine his area out. Okay, so I think that's pretty much everything, and we can extend the size out and it will do what we need. I did have to change the robot a little bit, uh, so it's changed it's now, it's now Johnny 5, which I think is just cool. So this has taken me a lot longer to do than I wanted, but I think I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to leave this guy to run between episodes. And in the next episode, we're probably going to work on loading the resources we collect into a train and send it somewhere. But if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or just like the idea, leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel and like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. But otherwise, have a great day, and see ya!